Hello, it's Farah. So, I thought I would come to the park today and um, just do a bit of walking and a little bit of rambling. So, um, yeah. Uh, I know it is in bulk. Um, either it was on February 1st or February 2nd, I'm not quite sure. But, um, yeah, there's, there's so much I can, I can talk about right now. Um, I, oh gosh, my eyes, my eyes are watering. But, um, yeah, let me go back to the in bulk thing. So, from what I understand, in bulk uh, is the halfway between winter solstice and spring equinox and um, kind of like returning of the light and um, so I'm definitely going to be talking from the northern hemisphere point of view. Um, I've just noticed that there, at least in my neighborhood, my area, there has been a lot of, um, it seems like the collective consciousness is just exhausted, tired, and just trying to get through day by day. Um, and it's interesting because now here comes in bulk, the returning of the light, fire, you know, it's a sunny day. That's, that's part of the reason what prompted me to come out and just hang out. But the ground is definitely muddy, but that's okay. That doesn't matter. Um, you know, I remember... Uh, I think it was beginning of last year, um, people were talking about how this, this time, these, this year, ne last year, this year is going to be kind of like, um, what's the word? Um, like giving birth to a new world, right? And so what happens when you're giving birth? You are the mothers in contractions, right? So there's like some rest and then contract and rest and contract. And uh, I also saw something too that in bulk has something to do with like being in the mother's womb and then also looking for spring Yesterday I was out and it was not sunny at all. It was pretty gray. Um, but today is sunny. Cold, but sunny, which is cool. I'm okay with cold. Um, I've grown up in the cold weather. You'd think I'd be interested in hot weather because my ancestry, but not so. Anyway. Um, I, did I warn you it was going to be a rambly video? Yeah, it's going to be rambly. I came here around Halloween time too, but that was in, at nighttime or after dark. And, uh, so, and now, you know, I mean, I don't think we're going to see any signs of spring and at least in the place where I live this is not the end of winter this is we're still in the because we're still in like got at least I don't know a month and a half of winter left to go um yeah some of those you see some of those leaves over there? 
they still hung on. Let me zoom. Can I zoom? Uh, I don't know if I can zoom. Okay. Um, but, uh, what are some of the things that I wanted to tell you? Oh, just like the, I was thinking mainly about the whole idea of growth and certainly not linear. I mean, I was, I remember thinking that it's usually the trees that have all of the branches coming off that are most interesting. Do you know what I mean? And that have twists and turns that are more interesting. Same with like movies, you know, because if, if we're watching movies, it's the movies that have the twists and turns that are most interesting. It's not the tree that has the straight line. And the other thing I was thinking about the trees is that well, you know, there is one main branch or brain, main trunk. Um, then there's a bunch of branches that cut, like there's a few branches, like the big branches, and then there's a bunch of little branches. But to me, it reminds me of how we're supposed to live. We're supposed to live, you know, like with one main idea. Ooh, lots of mud. One main, my shoes are gonna be so muddy. Um, one main thing, like the core of who we are, right? And then, I don't know, four or five big branches that come off of that. And then off of those little, those four or five branches, there's a bunch of little branches that come off. So, then why do we, you know, feel the, th the thing that we have to only have one main idea? Because that's certainly not the way life is. It just isn't. Um, yeah. But uh, I'm hoping that with the sun being a little bit longer, it'll like pick up people's moods, you know? It's funny because I was also thinking about how, you know, sometimes I think I'm imagining that I can pick up on people's thinking and sometimes, you know, is it my imagination or is it real? And it was weird because this is kind of a check-in too, but um, last week, for whatever reason, I started thinking about World War II again. And because it's something that I um, find interesting. Um, some of you, I think Julia will understand what I'm talking about. Um, and then maybe some of you, other of you will understand what I'm talking about, but uh, it is just why do people behave the way they do, you know? Like, I remember, Julia, you talking about how, you know, what makes somebody turn into a criminal, right? That doesn't, it doesn't just, to someone like me, it doesn't make sense. And um, I was talking to Carla, right? Carla and you and I were talking, we were talking about how I think it was you and we were talking about how that when somebody is like has a good heart you know like good intentions nothing but good intentions in their heart then it just seems like they can become more vulnerable to things that are not good per se right so anyway, I was looking at um, uh, World War II stuff again, 
and I definitely learned some new things about it. And then it occurred to me, like, I was like, wait a minute, they must have a Holocaust Memorial Day. And it just so happens that when I was thinking about this, that's when the Holo like Holocaust Memorial Day was on Friday. So it's like I somehow picked up on that, you know? Like the people that were either remembering or the souls that were remembering or... Do you know what I'm trying to say? But... Yeah. And like I said at the beginning, there, there's a lot that I could talk about. You know, I've, I've lost, Carla and I, you and I were talking about this, like I've lost a couple of friends, um, which is sad, sad to lose friends. But, you know, I, I, I was also thinking about the astrology and it's not my, year to um, gain more friends, I think. I mean, it'd be nice if I did. It would be nice if, you know, with talking, I had, um, I had people that cared and listened, you know, and like, subscribe, all those types of things, but it seems so weird to say. I don't know if, I don't know if I could do that, but, um, yeah, this is a year for, for me to, I have to keep switching hands because my hands are cold. It's a year for me to focus on my values, um, because it's a, second house perfection year values resources money and then also i've got pluto going into my 10th house which is interesting but saturn going into my um 11th house of friendships and social media so does that mean discipline? Does that mean restriction? Only time will tell, frankly. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I do know that when it comes to looking at astrology, you know, we can, we can lean into the changes, you know, we can, um, you know, follow the flow, or we can, um, go against the current, and, uh, or we could just be mindlessly going wherever and doing whatever. Um, to be honest with you, I mean, for a long time, I just mindly, mindlessly, I think I mindlessly did whatever. Or going against the current, frankly. For a long time, I went against the current. Um, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to go against the current. I don't want to um, just mindless, mindlessly go along either. Um, the water's still frozen. Do you see those patterns? Really pretty. Um, there was a couple of people that walked by me. They must think I'm crazy. I don't think I've ever recorded, made a video out in front of people before. Um, oh, and then the other thing too I wanted to say was, you know how like you've seen videos where people are saying, okay, what's my word of the year? Um, well, I did that, I think maybe 
for two years. And I also did it this year as well. And this year, my word of the year is signs. Plus, when I look at the numerology, um, Carol, this, this is for you. <laughs> when I look at the astrology, um, I, my, I'm in a personal two year, which is high priestess. So yeah, all of those things putting together, um, the signs and the astrology and the numerology and, and, you know, just picking up on the, the energy of what's going on. Um, and just nature in itself. Uh, lots of twists and turns, right? It's funny because in real sky, um, I'm a Pisces sun. And in Western, I am an Aries sun. Um, and real sky, I am an Aries rising, Aries moon, Aries rising. And Western, I'm a Taurus moon and a Taurus sun. Either way, regardless how you look at me, um, that's a lot of horns. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. I got horns all over the place. <laughs> um, yeah. But, you know, on first notice, you don't see my horns. You just see cute, sweet, sensitive, I think. I think most people usually see me cute, sweet, sensitive, and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I've worked hard to uh, definitely not use my horns, but you know what? I wonder if we can, I can, use my horns in a positive way, you know? Can I, um, I don't know. Can we use our dark side for good? Ooh, that's interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Someone had, I was, I hadn't put a video out in a minute because I was recording readings for the collective, you know, like the professional readers do like, oh, here's your February reading for Aries. Here's your February reading for Capricorn. Here's your February reading for Virgo. Um, and I was doing that, right? And I got eight of them done and they were all ready to put public. And then I got to Sagittarius and when I got to Sagittarius, I don't know, I just stopped. So I didn't do Sagittarius, Capricorn, um, Aquarius, Pisces. And it's funny because uh, I haven't had a lot of experience with Sagittarius. You know, there's only been maybe two or three Sagittarius that I've known. And those two or three Sagittarius that I've known, well, to be honest with you, 
those Sagittarius is me did not get along. So, um, obviously, um, I got uncomfortable when doing a tarot reading for Sagittarius, you know? So, I don't know. We'll see if I want to do some, try that again, like, you know, in March or April, put out tarot readings for the all 12 signs or not. But not today. Today is about me being a little indulgent and just talking about myself and looking at the trees. I hope you're enjoying looking at the trees. Um, yeah. I was also thinking too about how, you know, we come into this life with kind of like the trees. We come in with like a different um, trunk, you know, all the trunks are, can I try zooming? Let me see if I can try zooming again. Nope. Uh, Ooh, there we go. No. Okay, that's not working. Sorry. Um, so, with different trunks, you know, and we bear different fruit, and we have different leaves, and no two pine trees are the same. No two oak trees are the same, you know? Um, some don't go very tall. Some go very, very tall. Does that mean that the tall ones are better? They're definitely more impressive. They're more awe-inspiring than these little trees. These little trees you barely see them, you know? These ones that maybe only six feet tall, something like that. Are they less awe-inspiring? Are they less impressive? This one's housing a, this one has a, a bird's nest in it. Can you see the bird's nest? I don't know. Yeah, there it is. There's the bird's nest. So this is only a, maybe a six foot tall tree, but it has a bird's nest in it. So the birds think this tree is important. Carla, you and I were talking about how, and I was, I had heard this story and I told you about, you know, like the smallest thing sometimes seems insignificant, but it isn't because what is that story? Sleeping in a room with a mosquito. If you sleep in a room with a mosquito, that mosquito is not insignificant. So that means I'm not insignificant. That means all the tiny signs are not insignificant. Um, those people that died in the Holocaust are not insignificant. I don't know what the point of my rambling is. Um, I'm still working that out. Mm. 
I think, I think it's about diversity. Celebrating diversity. Celebrating the small changes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's about celebrating small changes. The small twists and turns in life. Like the branches on the trees. Makes it beautiful. Okay. Um, I talked about... I talked a lot about nothing, so... I'm gonna get off here, and uh, I wish you well. I'll talk to you later. Bye.